In today's video, I'm going to be trying to survive 100 days in the Pacific Ocean. I have three objectives. First, I'm going to build a massive yacht. Second, find and eliminate the alligator snapping turtle. And finally, defeat Leviathan, the king of the Western Pacific Ocean. If you go on to enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. It's literally free and you can always change your mind later. It's time to cross the Pacific Ocean. All right, let's do this. We sailed all the way into the middle of the night. There's a storm ahead, be careful. In the depths of the Pacific Ocean with massive tidal waves going by, we thought this could be the end. My boat is sinking. No, forest. Ah, my boat is sinking too. Forest, is that a tornado? This is not good. I then was sent flying in the air, and I fell all the way down into the ocean. Ah! Oh my gosh, what, what happened? Wait, Forrest, are you, are you around here? Lost in the Pacific Ocean, my day one had begun. While I was looking around, starter rage popped up on my screen. What in the world does that mean? Shortly after, I noticed that there was items floating by in the current. I wonder if the tornado caused this to happen. Anyways, since I had nothing to my name, I began fishing for all essential supplies. Luckily, I was able to find a tree sapling, some potatoes, an apple, and even seed. This definitely gave me hope. I may actually be able to survive in the Pacific Ocean. While I continued fishing, when I turned around, I noticed two sheep that looked to be struggling. I went ahead and built a slab platform to prevent them from getting away. I'm not sure what I should name them. Leave a comment down below and name my sheep. And as I went to sleep to finish off day one, I ended up dreaming about you hitting the like button. I then spent the couple of days working on expanding my raft, creating a big tree farm as well as a wheat farm. And for the remainder of day four, I went ahead and harvested my entire tree farm. In the morning of day 5, I crafted a boat, and I decided to harvest my entire wheat farm because I needed a lot of food for this next journey. I then placed my boat down and began looking for other signs of life. And not too far away, I found a group of pelicans. They must have been looking for some fish. On day 9, I found what looked to be a tropical island. I needed to explore this. Oh, is that a sea lion? Hey, uh, ow! Oh, okay, uh, I'm leaving, I'm leaving! It seems that the sea lions thought of me as some sort of threat, so I needed to get out of here quick before they eat me. As I crossed over the hill, I decided to hide behind a tree, and just like that, the sea lions waddled past me. Thank goodness they didn't see me. I looked up at the sun and realized it was going to be setting soon, so what I did was cleared out a nice area and blocked myself in for the night. In the dusk of day 10, I crawled out of my little hole and started looking for a cave. Yes, I finally found a cave. I thought for sure there wasn't going to be any. I started walking down the cave and found my first eight vein of iron. That's really going to come in handy. I also ended up gathering quite a bit of coal to make torches. After mining a little bit more iron, I found one more iron in the ground and started smelting all of the iron. I ended up making myself a chest plate and a shield. I kept exploring the cave and ran into a creeper and when it fell, I saw two other creepers. Is that like a nest of creepers in there? Anyways, I got some more iron, created myself an iron pick, axe, and shovel. I then ended up mining some gold and redstone. All right, hopefully these sea lions aren't still here. By the looks of it, we're all good. Oh, look at that, a little blue parrot. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this boat down. Actually, you know what? Before I leave, let's get some wood. And while I was harvesting this tree, I noticed that some of you still hadn't hit the like button, so make sure you help me beat the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, I began traveling back to my boat and saw a massive snapping turtle. Um, are turtles supposed to be that big? I waited for the turtle to walk by and I made a run for my boat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please don't see me. Okay, I think we're okay. In the evening of day 17, I finally arrived back at my base and I spent the rest of the evening harvesting my entire tree farm. And after harvesting all the trees, when I woke up, there was text on my screen saying, Welcome to the Iron Age. And as you can see, there looked to be an entirely different loot pool coming from the current. I wish this happened to me every day. After I finished fishing for the rest of the iron I need to create my set, I went ahead and harvested my entire wheat farm, and I ended up expanding it a little bit. And in the evening of day 18, my sheep fell in the ocean, so I had to save it. And then after that, I ended up going to bed. In the morning of day 
2019, I went ahead and created my giant crafting table. I then began crafting all the supplies that I need to be able to create my stage one yacht. Using my reinforced glass, logs, and stone brick, I went ahead and created my stage one yacht. And for a change of scenery, on day 21, I traveled back to the island, prayed there was no more sea lions here, but I figured this would be a good place to throw down my stage one yacht. And just like that, a bunch of blocks appeared and my stage one yacht appeared. That is sick. After creating the boat, I then had to spend the next couple days traveling back and forth to my old base, obtaining all of the materials and bringing it back to the yacht. The very next day, arriving at the yacht, I deposited everything. On day 23, I set sail into the Pacific Ocean to find forest. What in the world is that? Oh my goodness, that thing is actually huge. In the evening of day 24, I arrived at another island and saw a tree house. Once I got on the island, I got jumped by a zombie, but that wasn't really hard at all. Anyways, I climbed up the stairs and there was a ladder going up. Once reaching the top, there was a chest, and I found an enchantment table, diamonds, and a book with some bread. Little did I know, Jimbo and Jim Bob were on their way back to their home. Alright, let me tell you, Jimbo. It feels good to be back home. I can't wait to send the alligator snapping turtle after Painful. He'll never see it coming. Ooh, I like that. Painful will be destroyed. Wait, my diamonds, the book, it's all gone. Well, here goes nothing. Who's that? Who's ah! Bobble? Get him! Okay, take that boat and take this boat. Okay, now go, 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 go. Yo, get back here. Oof, that was a close one. And for the next three days, I ended up traveling through the Pacific Ocean, and I saw what looked to be a killer whale. I don't know why, but I felt the need to go say hi, and when I swam up to it, it tried to eat me, so I blocked my shield and blocked some of the attacks. It actually does a pretty crazy amount of damage. If I didn't have this shield, I'd be dead. Anyways, after eliminating it, I hopped in my boat and just dodged the rest of them. On day 29, I arrived back at my yacht and it was completely griefed. What could have happened? After I left to go get forest, it seemed like that storm caused a tornado. Luckily for me, my chest with some of my loot was still there, so I grabbed that and traveled to the island. I was going to build a tree house. And right on the shore, I found a nice tree and started building. I made a staircase all the way up. Not even this storm could stop me. After creating my base, I remembered that I got a book from that other treehouse, so when we opened it, it read, The alligator snapping turtle is one of the most dangerous creatures that linger through the Pacific Ocean. Its last known coordinates was near the northern islands. Anyways, on day 31, I headed out to hit the mines. After searching the island for a little while, as I was running up this hill, I ended up finding myself a mine. The first thing I did was gather some coal to make some torches. I then traveled to the depths of the mine and found my first set of diamonds and it was an eight vein. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And after a little while more searching, I ended up finding 16 diamonds in total. I went ahead and created a helmet, leggings, and pickaxe. Anyways, after a couple more days of traveling, I made it back to my treehouse base, and once I got close to the water, I noticed Diamond Age popped up on my screen. So of course, as anyone would, I got my fishing rod and started fishing as many diamonds as I possibly could. I still needed to make the rest of my armor and some tools. And after a little while of fishing, I ended up getting enough diamonds to create my diamond chestplate and boots. I also went ahead and made an axe. Now that I was all geared up with all the supplies required, I created my Stage 2 Yacht. I found an open area to throw down the yacht, and as you can see, blocks started appearing, and my stage 2 yacht appeared. It was a little bigger than I thought. It's kind of on the beach, but hey, it looks cool. Anyways, now that I have a nice yacht, I went ahead and got all of my items and transferred them all the way into the yacht. After that, I spent the next couple of days creating a massive wheat tree, and watermelon farm. As you guys can see, this took quite some time, but it actually turned out pretty nice. I then placed my boat down and traveled for the next two days looking for forest. On day 47, I was just using my boat and I thought I saw something underneath me, so I got out of my boat and jumped down, and I was right. It looked like there was some sort of sunken ship. I figured I wouldn't be able to hold my breath for too long, so I went ahead and created some doors. The doors really came in handy. Once you place it on the ground, it creates an air pocket and actually allows you to breathe. I then looked around and found a chest with gold, golden apples, bones, and cobwebs. Now that's what I'd like to call a pretty good find. After catching my breath, I got jumped by some more of those sea lions. Jeez, these things came out of nowhere. I ended up swimming up to the top and started fighting them up here. At least I could breathe up here. And with just a few more hits, I was able to take down the sea lions. 
A couple days later, I arrived back at base and noticed it was the Nether Age. I gathered up a bit more food, cleared my inventory, and went to fish. And I got attacked by a puffer fish, man. What the heck? Yeah, you weren't getting away, buddy. So I continued fishing, and I actually got some really good stuff. I got some diamonds, some books, blaze rods, experience bottles, you name it. After fishing, it took me a couple days, but I ended up making this little indoor pool, and I brewed up some potions. I got some insta health, speeds, and strength. After brewing, I went ahead and enchanted all of my armor with full protection one. Let's go. After brewing and enchanting, I went to bed for the night. And in the morning, since we were fully enchanted, it was time to head to the Northern Islands to fight the Alligator Snapping Turtle. And on day 60, I had finally arrived at the Northern Islands, and I saw on top of my screen Kevin the Snapping Turtle. Why was his name Kevin, and he sounds bald? Can we get a hashtag Kevin is bald in the comments? Anyways, just like that, I charged in on Kevin, and I got a pretty good amount of hits, and suddenly he jumped up in the air and launched me all the way back, doing half of my health. And I charged back in and he jumped up again and belly flopped on the ground. Dude, this thing is almost one-shotting me. I'm really starting to regret calling Kevin bald. But anyways, we got a massive amount of damage done here and he launched me back. I use this as a perfect opportunity to eat some food and repot my strength and speed. After charging back in with my strength too, I was actually able to almost kill Kevin. He knocked me flying back, getting me to two and a half hearts. Oh, little turtles. Hey, guys. Oh my gosh, I, I almost died, okay? I, I'm not gonna do that again. Anyways, with one health potion left to my name, I kept attacking Kevin, and every time he'd hit me, I'd try to block my shield as well. He knocked me back, and I just blocked it in time. I probably would have died if I didn't block there. As Kevin got really low, it seemed like he summoned an army of mini turtles. Yeah, we gotta get rid of them real quick. Seeing as I have no health pots in left, I went ahead, ate food to regenerate, and charged. With a final few hits, I eliminated Kevin, the alligator snapping turtle, and I had to get the heck away from these little guys. I I then hopped back in my boat and then traveled for the next four days to get back to my stage two yacht. On day 66, I arrived back at my base. Once I got on my yacht, I realized how sick my farm looks, so I wanted to show you guys. Anyways, then I went ahead and started creating all of my snapping turtle armor. I also created a tortoise shield and a snapping turtle mallet. And as you can see, I'm literally looking like a ninja turtle at this point. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far. And I spent the rest of day 68 brewing potions. I ended up getting some more insta health, speed, and strength. On day 69, when I was walking outside of the top of my yacht, I noticed it was the end age. That's what I'm talking about. And after grabbing my fishing rod, I did a ton of fishing. I got lots of ender pearls, anvils, netherite tools, you name it. After spending all of day 69 fishing, the next couple of days, I actually was fishing for only diamonds. I needed this to craft my stage 3 yacht. And after fishing for what seemed to be 10 years, I got a ton of diamonds that I'm going to use to create my stage 3 yacht. I started by making straight strengthened logs, then I made strengthened stone bricks, some reinforced glass, and then having all those supplies, I went ahead and created my stage three yacht. All right, I'm a little far away from my base, so this shouldn't interfere with anything. Here goes nothing. And the moment we've all been waiting for, I went ahead and threw down the stage three yacht. As you guys can see, a massive yacht that's like the size of the ocean appeared. I spent the next couple days transferring all my loot from my stage two yacht to my stage three. And for the next three days, I went to travel to Jimbo and Jim Bob's house. Yeah, we've got to take them down. And while I was in the middle of the sea, I saw something appear. And when I jumped off my boat, and jumped in, it looked like a stack of snakes were on top of each other. Yeah, fighting sea snakes on the way over to the Jimbo and Jim Bob's house was definitely not a part of the plan. Anyways, I'm just very thankful that I'm in really overpowered alligator snapping turtle armor because I probably would have been snake meat, if that's even a thing. At last, I finally made it. As I pulled up to the shore, I realized there was massive walruses here, so I had to engage in a fight and take these things down. I managed to take down the first walrus pretty easily, and I noticed when I had killed it, it dropped fish. It seemed like these walruses must have just ate a bunch of fish or something, because whenever I'm killing them, they just seem to drop a lot of fish. Anyways, I decided to go back up the stairs and see if they had any more loot in their chests. When I opened the chest, I found a netherite pickaxe and shovel. It seems like they must have been around for the final age. Anyways, I figured I wouldn't be able to kill them at the same time, so I started building a fall trap. I dug all the way down to bedrock. As you guys can see, it's a long way down. 
Okay, now I just gotta hope that they don't get back home until I hide. Oh my god, no, 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 no. They were not supposed to get back so early. Okay, I'm gonna loop around and try to get them in the trap. Stay away! I ended up running up this huge hill. I turned around to make sure that they were still following me, and I ran and jumped all the way over my trap. And both of them fell all the way down. And when I looked over the trap, there was water at the bottom. Wait, why was there water? And when I dropped down, I found a book and an empty bucket. It seems like one of them tried to water bucket clutch. And when I opened the book, it read, The Leviathan is at the top of the food chain. It will kill anything in its path. Its last known coordinates was at the west end of the Pacific Ocean. After eliminating Jimbo and Jim Bob, I hopped in the boat and spent the next few days traveling back home. I arrived back at my Stage 3 yacht on day 83. I then went ahead and spent the next three days, as well as I went ahead back to my Stage 2 boat and started harvesting all the netherwort, wheat, and all of the trees. I then set sail into the depths of the Pacific Ocean in attempts to find the Leviathan. On day 95, I had finally found the monster, the Leviathan. I went ahead and popped my water breathing potion, speed, and strength potions. I then swan dove off my boat directly at the Leviathan, and it spit this green poison at me. As I was eating my apple, it launched me into the air with its tail. What in the world is this thing? Anyways, I finally got close enough to the Leviathan and started getting a quite a bit of hits on it. As you can see, this mallet does quite a lot of damage. And after smacking it a little bit more, it spit poison at me and got me to half a heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, note to self, try not to get hit by poison. And after eating this golden apple, I got another couple hits on the Leviathan and he backed up unleashing this white like blizzard. Anyways, as I went to eat food, it dove all the way into the sky and splashed on the ground. Okay, this thing is actually insane. Since when can this thing swan dive all the way into the sky? And wow, we just dodged a ton of poison. Anyways, I kept hitting it and it tail whipped me all the way up into the sky as well. And as you can see, I'm right by the ocean floor, unleashing a fury of hits on the Leviathan and he's almost dead. Knowing the Leviathan's low, I charged at it and finally eliminated the Leviathan, the king of the Western Pacific Ocean. If you want to fight the custom bosses you see in our videos, check out our Patreon link in the description below. Anyways, I spent the next four days traveling back to my yacht, and on day 100, I arrived back at home. Make sure you go watch Forrest's video linked in the description below. We had different bosses and objectives. Bye!